I am so hyped to see what the Eagles do on draft day. But before that, let's take care of business. I want to talk about three guys that are free agents for the Philadelphia Eagles that I want to sign back. We got the Eagles. We got the Sixers. Philly talk. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is Philly talk. For those who are new to the channel, love talking Eagles football or Sixers basketball, go right ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you never want to miss another one of these videos, click that little bell by the subscribe button for post notifications. Now, if you've been rocking with me for a minute, old subscriber, new subscriber, and you want to help this channel grow, smash that like button. What that does is it pushes this content to other Philly fans, whether it be Eagle fans or Sixers fans. With all that being said, I hope you guys are enjoying your Friday night, and let's jump right into it. The beginning of free agency. This is where everybody is anticipating the draft. Who are the Eagles going to sign with the first pick? Who are we going to get with the remaining nine picks? We cannot screw this up. Receiver at one, cornerback at one. Who knows? Who knows? We are also looking in free agency. Who are we going to sign on the offensive side of the ball? Who are we going to sign on the defensive side of the ball? Rumors are going to start to flurry. One thing is we got to fill these four vacant coaching spots. And as I heard today, there's they're really close and locking up a defensive back coach who used to be the DB coach for the Atlanta Falcons during the Super Bowl run. I think his name is Marquan Manuel, something along them lines. So it's not just an interview. There's been reports that we're almost locking him up. So maybe going forward, we'll only have three more to look for. On that note, let's talk about the Philadelphia Eagles that will become a free agent in 2020 unless we resign them. Now, we have a handful of guys, and in this video, I'm not going to discuss all the guys. There might be other guys that I believe the Philadelphia Eagles should sign back. But in this video, I'm telling you three guys I really want them to sign back. And one of the guys is kind of under the radar, where I believe we should sign him back because somebody who is in front of him is getting less production than he is. And this guy will cost a fraction of the price. And we have a lot of money, but let's spend this money wisely, not just throwing it at anybody for any reason. So let's get into it. I'm going to talk about the first guy that I want to see back in 2020. Camus Grugier Hill. At only 25 years old, he'd be perfect to add back to this team to play defense. Games available this year, 10. Games that he started this year, 6. And in them 6 games, he had 22 combined tackles, 16 solo tackles, and 4 tackles for loss. Before he got injured, we saw the potential of this kid. 25 years old, he was the Mike linebacker when Nigel Bradham was not there. And we saw the potential, running side to side, stopping the run, really showing his growth. Like I said... 25 years old. I definitely want to see him back with the Philadelphia Eagles next year in 2020, especially with Nigel Bradham's contract. He's not a free agent and he only has one more year on his deal that if we bring him back for that, we owe him $10 million. So the Eagles might be hesitant to let Nigel Bradham go. He's older, $10 million, and we could sign Camus Gruger Hill, who's shown potential. And he hasn't showed injury st prone status. In the past, he hasn't played much, but this could just be an outlier injury to end the season. I believe we should take Camus Gruger Hill back to the Philadelphia Eagles in 2020. Like I said, let me know what you think about Camus Gruger Hill and the situation we have to face with Nigel Bradham. I would keep him because I do believe he has a little bit of gas left. But for $10 million for this next year, I don't know. I just don't know. But I do believe Gruget Hill would be a good piece to add. He can just benefit this team, especially with us drafting possible linebackers in this draft. We got 10 picks. I still would add a linebacker and sign him because we do need help at the linebacker position. Well, let's move on to number two, the second Eagle that I want to see back in 2020. And this is the one who's going to be possibly the shocker. Hassan Ridgeway. At the age of 25 also, games available this season, seven. Games that he started, five. Sacks, two. Quarterback hits, four. Combined tackles, eight. And tackles for loss, four. Now, if you look right underneath there, what does that name say? Timmy Jerrigan. 
another D tackle who gets paid more than him. And he had 10 games available, nine games started, two sacks, three quarterback hits, 10 combined tackles, and three tackle for loss. Hassan Ridgeway practically beat Timmy Jurgen in almost every category, playing four games less as a starter. Now, Hassan Ridgeway did get hurt, but if we can get him back healthier, same with Tim Jurgen too, I believe he should be that third D tackle. Remember, guys, we are getting Malik Jackson back, and he's under contract. So is Fletcher Cox. So you do have Fletcher Cox and Malik Jackson as your starting D tackles. And the rotational D tackle should be Hassan Ridgeway. You can get him for a fraction of the price that you'll be paying Timmy Jurgen. And at the end of the day, he's shown that he's more productive. So I would probably release Timmy Jurgen. Not that I don't like him, but you only really want to carry three or four D tackles. And the fourth D tackle could be a guy like Anthony Rush, who played at the end of the season and did pretty good. Now, he's not a free agent. He will just be there if we want him to be there. But Timmy Jurgen is a free agent and Hassan Ridgeway is a free agent. And like I said, guys, look at the stats. Hassan Ridgeway will be a fraction of the price and he was more productive. I do like TJ, but I'm going to want to sign Hassan Ridgeway as the third D tackle for the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, what do you think? I know Hassan Ridgeway's name don't pop off the screen, but if you go back and watch how he played, he had some bursts. He's a big dude, and for, the, for his weight, he can get upfield. He can stop the run. He has two sacks as a huge guy in the middle. It's not easy to get sacks as a D tackle. Five games, two sacks, that's pretty good. So, like I said, I like TJ, but if you had to ask me, bigger money for TJ, smaller money for Hassan Ridgeway for the third rotation player, I'm taking Hassan Ridgeway. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So, we're down to the last one. Like I said, I'm not saying only three people out of all our free agents, but these are three guys I want to see back. And like I said, let me know what you think. The third and final one, we're going to stop right here at the runner back position. Yup, the runner back position. Jordan Howard, also only 25 years old. Games available, 10. Games started, 4. Rushing attempts, 119. Rushing yards, 525. Touchdowns total, 7. And average yards per carry, 4.4 yards per carry. Now, it was upsetting when he got hurt. He was starting to get his groove against the Packers. Then he did it against the Bills. Then he did it against the Bears. He had that key block in Miles Sanders' longest run of his career. I really believe if you got Jordan Howard healthy, who if you look at his last couple years with the Bears, he played 15 out of 16 games, 16 out of 16 games, and 13 out of 15 games. He's not injury prone. I don't know what the Eagles do to these players to make them be hurt. With that being said... If you really get a full season of thunder and lightning, and I'm talking thunder Jordan Howard and lightning Miles Sanders, and you can mix Boston Scott as the Darren Sproul role, that would be a loaded backfield. Some people might feel some type of way about Jordan Howard because of Miles Sanders and Boston Scott. And yes, Miles Sanders is our best runner back and he has to get on the field. No doubt about it. But Jordan Howard, that bull that goes up the middle, we could use that. And we missed that throughout the season. There were certain spots on third and one, third and two. Doug Peterson passed the ball. Would he have did that with a healthy Jordan Howard? I don't know. Now, I do think he would have to take a team-friendly-ish deal. We do have a lot of money. But I think Jordan Howard might do that, especially how this season ended and what he wants to accomplish in Philadelphia. So I would like to see Jordan Howard come back fully healthy, thunder and lightning with Boston Scott at its fullest. There it is, the three players that I want to see back in 2020 for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, I'm not saying they're the only three, but in this video, I only wanted to talk about three. So what I want you to do is let me know in the comment section, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Or do you have your own three? Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section, three Eagles you want to see back on the Philadelphia team in 2020. Now we're only talking free agents. And I just wanted to touch on this before I finish this video. Malcolm Jenkins is not a free agent. I know that. 
But the way his contract is, he said he's not going to play unless he gets a raise. If we're talking three or four million extra just this year, I would do it. Yes, he's 32. I want to get younger. But for this next year, where we could compete for a Super Bowl if healthy, this team could compete for a Super Bowl if healthy. I would like Jenkins. He played every snap this year. He plays a slot. He plays a safety position. He plays in a box. He D's the tight end. He D's the runner back. He rushes the passer on blitz. He spies the quarterback. He watches the runner back come out. I mean, he does so much for this football team. And even though he's 32, he's more healthier than some of the 20 year olds. He's never missed a snap. Health is not a problem. So I would take him back. Now, like I said, if you like this content, smash that like button. It helps this channel grow. I love all you guys to death. You know what time it is, though. We out.